Okay, in this video I'm going to be talking about the power reducing formulas. What we need to know about the power reducing formulas is that we can go from sine squared down to cosine to the first. Cosine squared down to cosine to the first. Tangent squared down to cosine to the first. We can use these formulas to reduce the power, the exponent that we are using within a formula. The one catch is this. First of all, whatever angle that I'm, take, I'm taking sine squared of, angle U, if that was 30 degrees, when I put it in the formula, I have to double the angle every time I reduce the power. So if I, U was 30 degrees, that means in here I'd be taking the cosine of 60, right? Or if this is 45 degrees, I would be doing cosine of 90 or whatever it is, okay? So we've got to keep that in mind. Every time we use the power reducing formula, you have to, you absolutely have to double the angle. And that is the one thing that kids screw up more often than anything else is that they use 30 degrees here and they use maybe 30 degrees there. They don't change the angle. With this in mind, here is our task. And I hope I gave you enough paper because I found out that it was kind of tough when I did the rough draft of this to fit it all on the provided space. So maybe I should be giving you more. But what we're asked to do is to do this. This is sine to the fourth power of x where we're asked to rewrite this as a sum of the first powers of the cosines of multiple angles. So things that are allowed would be multiple angles. Things like 2x's are going to show up, right? Because every time we use the power reducing formula, we have to have 2x come into play, right? We have to double the angle. So that's okay. We're only going to use cosines. Well, that makes sense because it's all cosines anyway, right? No matter what formula you use, it's always cosines. But what they say is not allowed is anything but cosine to the first power. So we're not going to have any cosine squares. We'll have no cosine cubes. We'll have nothing like that, right? All right, so that's our task. We can see here that we're probably going to be using this formula, right? Sine squared u because we're talking sine to the fourth. In fact, our first step is to rewrite this as sine squared of x times sine squared of x. Or, my pen decided to die. Or I could write it as sine squared of x squared, right? Okay, so whatever way you decide you want to do it, that's fine. We're just taking sine squared times sine squared. That's going to give us sine to the fourth. With that in mind, then, that means that I can rewrite this as, notice I'm going to, I'm going to write kind of small, and I've got to write off to the side because I really did run out of room. Sine squared of u is equal to 1 minus the cosine of now 2x. I doubled the angle, right? I doubled the angle from x to 2x. That's all over 2. I'm going to take it times itself. 1 minus cosine of 2x all over 2. Now, what that ends up with giving me is uh, on the bottom of a fraction, I have 4. And on the top, I have a FOIL problem, don't I? 2 times 2 is 4 on the bottom, but on the top, it's FOIL. So I have to go 1 times 1 is 1. Minus cosine of 2x minus another cosine of 2x. That would be minus 2 cosines of 2x. And then I have plus cosine squared of 2x. Now it would be nice if we were done, but the problem is this. See, we're okay writing cosine of 2x. That's okay. That's a multiple angle. It's allowed according to the instructions. But I still have a cosine squared that I need to get rid of, right? I'm going to do us a favor real quick. Instead of saying dividing by 4, I'm going to write this as 1 fourth times, right? So I'm going to pull the 4 off to the side. I'm going to rewrite it as 1 fourth times 1 minus the co oh, excuse me, it's 2 cosines of 2x plus the cosine squared of 2x. Now, with that in mind, because the cosine squared is not allowed, I need to use my power reducing formula here. I'm going to replace cosine squared of 2x with this chunk of stuff. So that is one fourth of one minus two cosine two x. That's thus all allowed. But now I'm going to take it plus, let's see here, I'm going to use brackets for this first set, plus one plus the cosine of, and here's the catch. It was two x, but every time I use the power reducing formula, I have to double it. That means I'm now up to four x. And that is the thing that people will miss more often than anything else. I will see this remain as a 2x. If you get nothing else right, make sure you hit that 4x because now the rest of the problem is going to fall into place. Okay, here we go. 
if I go ahead, I'm going to write this as two separate fractions right here. I'm going to say that now that is one fourth times brackets one minus two cosine of two x. I'm going to write this instead as of, of one fraction. I'm going to write it as one over two plus the cosine of four x all over two. Here we go. So now I see what I have is this. One plus one half is three halves, right? I'll go back to parentheses now. Three halves plus two cosines of two x plus, and I'm going to write instead of divided by two, I'm going to say one half of the cosine of four x. Okay, so I just pulled that two out front. No reason, just it's how I like it. Okay. The last thing is this, because you know I really just I don't like having fractions in here. I'm going to factor out a one half. I'm going to pull that two off to the side, and what that ends up leaving me with is instead of one fourth on the outside, it makes it one eighth. I pull an extra one half out, right? But what it does on the inside is it turns everything into whole numbers. You see, if I double everything in the inside, it makes up for it. This right by itself would be three over four times two eight. So I can take one eighth times three, right? I double everything in here. Two becomes a four cosine of two x. Because originally I would have had 2 times 1 fourth, 2 fourths. That's 1 half. Now I'm going to have 4 times 1 eighth, 4 eighths, 1 half, right? And then the last one, the 1 half just goes away, makes it twice as big, and I end up with this as the answer. 1 eighth of 3 plus 4 times the cosine of 2x plus the cosine of 4x. Everything is first powers. We have multiple angles, and it's all cosines, right? So it's all allowed. So there's the first problem. I'm going to go ahead and create a second video since this is already seven minutes long, and I'll work through the second problem for you in the next video.